So if you create video, you know it's not a case of just simply hitting record and then uploading that final video. You want to make your video as polished as possible. And that means adding sound effects, graphics, titles, lower thirds, all things like that. Well, what if I told you there's one site where you can get all of those things in one place and it's super easy to use? Well, that's what I'm going to show you in this video. Hey there, welcome to the video. I'm Mark Brown from Editor's Keys, and I'm proud to say this video is being sponsored by our friends over at Envato Elements. Now, we only partner with companies that we love and we think are gonna make your life a lot easier, and I think Envato Elements is one of those companies. So today, we're gonna to give you a little behind the scenes look at how we improve some of our videos. A lot of people ask us how we create our special effects, how we do our titles and graphics, and actually, a lot of the time, we don't. We actually download load them from sites like Envato Elements. So what we've done, we've created a little mini review video of our 8-in-1 USB dongle just to show you how we would take the standard sort of boring footage and then spice it up, how we add those graphics, lower thirds, sound effects to give you something really polished that you'll be proud of to upload to YouTube. So let's jump into it. So Envato Elements is a site absolutely packed with goodies. And as you can see from the homepage dashboard, there are over 50 million photos, over 48,000 assets just added this week alone. And then you've got nearly 3,000 infographics, which I think is absolutely insane. So if you want infographics like this, you can just grab them in an instant or maybe sound effects like this. They're super easy to get and use. So let's jump into Premiere Pro with our kind of fake mini review for this dongle. And we'll show you how we take some of our sort of fairly boring footage and then add these effects to our projects. So let's jump into Premiere Pro. So here we are in Adobe Premiere Pro. And this is the product video we're going to be using as an example. So this is the intro and usually what we would do for any intro is just find a great lower third that we can use for both my name and the YouTube channel name, just as a type of introduction and to get your name in front of your viewers. You should definitely go and grab one too. So we'll jump onto Envato Elements now and get searching for the best one. So if you're presenting in your YouTube videos, you might want to add a lower third so people can see your name or the company you work for. So if we go into Envato Elements, where you would find these, I go into Video Templates and then Elements. And this will load up all of the elements, uh, things like lower third, some titles, almost like news effects you can see here. Uh, looks a bit like a Fox News kind of piece. You've also got an American map here for election results. So it's quite good. No matter what project you're working on, there's usually some really, really cool um, elements that you can add to your project with just with ease, you know, really, really cool. And then what I normally do uh, down the side here, if you scroll below, application supported, you can actually change it to your editing program of choice. So sometimes we're in Adobe Premiere Pro, sometimes we're in Final Cut Pro, sometimes we're in LumaFusion if we're using the iPad. So what I would do today as we're using Premiere Pro is just simply click Premiere Pro. And then what that does is it sorts all of the elements or lower thirds in this case that are compatible with Premiere Pro. So you're not gonna download anything which isn't gonna work for your software. So I think this is really nice. You can see if we just hover over this one here, you get the instant animation. So you don't need to click into absolutely every uh, lower third to see what it looks like. You get a little preview here. So I'm gonna spend a little bit of time now just looking through these and find the one that I think will work best for this video. So I think I found a lower third that I really like for this video. Let me just play this preview here. I think it looks very, very modern looking. It just suits our kind of style for the Editor's Keys channel. So of course, you know, look for your style, but this would suit us perfectly, to be honest. So I'm gonna download that. And all you do is just make sure you're signed into the site and then hit download. Uh, you can then add it to a recent project if you've got one. Uh, I'm gonna add that to the EK 8-in-1 hub and then add and download. And that will give you the license that you need to be able to use these lower thirds or graphics or music on any of your future projects. So when you download the lower thirds pack, you'll see you get a, a zipped file and you can unzip that and you'll have all of your mogits in there which are compatible Premiere Pro files. And if you're a bit confused about what to do, they always include documentation. So you can see here, you've got some really easy instructions that you can follow to get these installed directly into Premiere Pro. 
So now we've found the lower third pack to install into Premiere Pro, just make sure that you read the instructions. This one says to make sure you download the font pack from this link, and a lot of these packs will say this, so make sure you do that before you do anything else. It just ensures you have the nicest fonts for your graphics. Now, install the fonts as so, and then when that's done, you can go back into Adobe Premiere Pro. Make sure your essential graphics panel is open and it can be found in the window at the top here and then just make sure it's ticked. Now to install the lower thirds into your essential graphics, simply just click this little icon here, go to the folder and then open and it's really as simple as that. Now just drag this onto your project and now you can change the text colors and the size to make it perfect. So next we need to find some music and there's just a great selection of music. You can be sitting in here all day listening to some cool music. So all you do is simply go to the music tab at the top here. Uh, you can go to music tracks. You've also got logos and idents as well, which are really good for the title packs that you've already downloaded. So simply you can uh, again go to the left here. You can search for the type of vocals you want. If you want like a lead vocal, if you want background vocals, or if you want no vocals at all. And uh, usually no vocals is what I would usually go for because we often add voiceover um, to the video so we don't really want singing over top or underneath the, the voiceover. So I'm just going to go through and play through some of these. And they're all really good, so the production quality of all of these songs is really really good. It's just about kind of finding the music you want so I would kind of have in mind something that uh, I already want. In, in this case I kind of want something a bit more urban, so a bit more hip-hop maybe. Um, and you can you know, change the um, the tempo. You can say very slow, slow, medium. So I'm just going to spend some time looking through here and try and find a perfect track for this video. Okay, so I think I found a good song uh, for this video. It's called The Hip Hop. Let's give it a play. And it's nice. It's just a pretty chill hip hop beat that will go really nicely under any technology based video. So uh, let's download that and get that into the project. The next thing we like to do is add some sound effects to our video. So we'll add swishes and whooshes to transitions or even when graphics are coming up or if we've got a nice transition between one shot and another. So I'm going to look through Envato Elements here at the sound effects section and you can hear, see here you've got game sounds, you've actually got sound effects for transition and movements which we use a lot, domestic sounds, human sounds, urban sounds. So even if you've gone on a shoot outside and you maybe want to add some train noise or or some cars going past, that kind of thing, bird sounds, you can add all of those kind of sounds uh, directly from Envato Elements and really spice up your videos. It's a really cool way to, to make your video look much more interesting. So I'm going to look for some whooshes and swooshes that we can add to the lower thirds and to um, parts of the transitions within the videos. So we found this whoosh here. It's very, very simple, but I think it's going to work really well for uh, when the lower thirds come up. Let's just play that through. I think they sound pretty cool. So now I want to find a really good title pack. Now if you've seen any YouTube videos, which I'm sure you have, most channels will have a good intro title pack and they'll use that same intro title pack on every video on their channel. Um, now what I want to do is I want to find a title for an intro section of our YouTube video. So maybe you're introducing a chapter to your video or you just want to separate one scene from the next. So I want quite a simple looking title pack. Um, so I'm going to go through the video templates here. On the left I've got it set to Titles and Premiere Pro and if we just preview some of these you can see you've got some here for Stories which are really good if you're planning on putting something on Instagram. You've got some really good cinematic titles here. You can see this one's called Warhammer and looks really really epic. I mean if you paid someone to create that that would cost you into the thousands. So just being able to download these is really really great. This one looks quite interesting. It's called the Creative Modern Lower Thirds Pack. Now we're not looking for a lower thirds on this section but you can see here just by the little preview window 
That's a really nice title pack. So I'm gonna spend a few minutes looking through these and try and find the right one for this video. Okay, so I think I found a really nice title pack. This one is called the Animated Titles Pack. Let's just hit play there so we can preview it. And as you can see, it's just some nice bold fonts, some nice clean lines. Um, we can edit these lines to our own color, of course. And they just give you a nice, simple, but yet professional look. And I think that's gonna be really, really nice on our videos. Now, if you're doing a product video, maybe you're talking about a car, maybe you're talking about a product like this, sometimes infographics can be really, really good ways of illustrating how fast something is, how it differs from another product. So I wanna talk about how fast these USB ports are. They're pretty fast USB 3 ports. So I'm gonna look through the infographics section of Envato Elements and try and find something that resembles speed. So you can see here we've got an infographic graphs toolkit. Uh, that would be quite cool. We've got a flat design infographics toolkit here, which looks really, really nice, really, really modern. Uh, and again, I'm just gonna go through these. I really want kind of a, a pie chart graph, something where I can show 350 megabytes per second and showing how that almost maxes out. So I'm gonna spend a couple of minutes again going through these and try and find the right one. All right, so I think I found the perfect one. This is called the infographics pie chart. Now, if I play this through here, you'll see we get these really nice flat circle designs and they have percentages on here at the moment, but I'm gonna change that to megabytes per second for our video. And that will just really illustrate just how fast something is, especially if you take the ring all the way around nearly to the top. I think that's gonna be really cool. And uh, you know, whatever you're looking for, if it's speed, if it's time, if it's uh, features, specs, you'll be able to find an infographic that will work really well for your video. But I'm gonna download this one and get this into Premiere. So for every pack you install, just repeat the exact same steps as in the first example, and it will really work perfectly for you. Now we found a great one that we can use as a type of speedometer, and that's gonna show just how fast the USB speed is on this dongle. So again, you can change the size, color, and the in and out points, and then edit it to your personal preference. And you know what? I think this one looks pretty great. Hey there, welcome to the video. I'm Mark Brown from Editor's Keys. And in today's video, we're taking a look at the new 18-in-1 dongle that works perfectly with your iPad Pro or MacBook Pro. So let's take a look at this device and look at some of the specs. So there you go, that's a look at the eight in one dongle. Now you can check that out in the link in the description below. But remember, if you wanna see more videos just like this, make sure to hit that subscribe, that like, and that notification bell, and we'll see you in the next video. So there we go, what do you think of that? I think the video now looks 100 times better than it did before without any of the sound effects or infographics. It just makes it look so much more professional. So if you enjoyed that video and you wanna check out Envato Elements, I'll put a link in the description below so you can check out that today. Give it a trial, see what you think, and I'm sure you're gonna find it helps you with all of your YouTube videos going forward and just, it will up your game, up the quality of your YouTube channel. So anyway, thanks for watching. If you've got any questions or comments, please leave them below. I promise we do get back to every single one and I'll see you in the next video.